Whether you live in the big city with too many Wi-Fi hotspots competing for limited channels, or you live in a big country house, everyone needs more Wi-Fi. Coincidentally, my cat's name is Wi-Fi. I'm going to try some random stuff I found on the internet, which is always a good idea, to see if I can make my Wi-Fi stronger. N not the cat Wi-Fi, like the internet Wi-Fi. I'm looking for an easy shortcut here on 3D PC. So we're testing out these urban legends we saw on the internet, and we're also testing how pointing the router antennas at different angles might actually help with getting more Wi-Fi in more of the house. Of course, cat Wi-Fi is banned from the dining room table. You know what you did. But we're going to try and get Wi-Fi everywhere else. The router started out with its antennas oriented like this. And we'll be measuring the signal strength in three places. This is Blu-ray, by the way, not Wi-Fi. Hey, Blu-ray, <laughs> this green screen is not doing any wonders for you. And we'll be measuring the signal strength in three places. In the office, with the Wi-Fi off the keyboard, and in the master suite, where I can't get a minute of sleep without you pouncing my feet, and also on the back porch, where you will be spending the night if you don't get your act together, bud. Anyone looking for a free cat? Blu-ray, you're on the keyboard now. <laughs> We're measuring signal loss, so a more negative number means that we're losing connection with Wi-Fi. The range in the office is great, the bedroom's okay, but the bat- I've 3D printed basically a baby gate and used dowel rod for the bars so that the cats can't get into this office. And honestly, like, I should have not invited the cats in for this video, but I just thought since there were going to be all these Wi-Fi puns, it would be a good idea. It was not. And the range in the office is good. The bedroom's okay. The back porch especially dropped the ball when it came to 5 gigahertz. So if you're wondering how to judge these numbers as good or not, check out this cool guide from MetaGeek. I haven't tested any of the software from their site, but at least the written articles are pretty helpful. The first thing I learned from reading these potential Wi-Fi hacks on the internet was doing something about tinfoil hats. I can't speak for alien mind reading, but it certainly blocked my phone from getting a Wi-Fi signal. No signal 2.4 gigahertz at all to the bedroom. A merely acceptable signal two meters away from the router to the office, which is about one and a half pounces in American Wi-Fi units. Since the foil was clearly trapping the signals, I tried making a curved reflector dish to beam it out of the house. And the bedroom did get decent 2.4 gigahertz range, the porch barely improved for 5 gigahertz, but everything else was still worse than if I'd done nothing at all. So I gave up on tin or aluminum foil and tried just a baking sheet. The baking sheet is iron, which is a very different material than aluminum. It's magnetic. Because the sheet was between the router and the office computer, we did lose some strength there. Quite a lot, actually, but still usable. Most everywhere else, we actually boosted the signal. I didn't see anything else for things to build or place around the router, so I started rearranging the antennas next. But if you have anything else that you've seen on the internet that may or may not be accurate, please leave a comment below and maybe I'll try it in a follow-up video. Having the antennas vertical was absolutely amazing for signal strength, many times stronger away from the office, and even if the office itself is technically only a few dBm off, it's still totally usable. It should be worth noting that the two antenna router we're using does have beamforming turned on for all of these tests, so it does actively try and focus the 5 GHz band we're connected to on the measuring device in every test. So, 2.4 GHz with no beamforming toward the measuring device, 5 gigahertz with a beam forming toward the measuring device. Same consistent rules for every test in the video. Normally you wouldn't expect the 5 gigahertz signals to reach better through walls than 2.4 gigahertz, but since we have the router actively focusing the signal, it appears to work quite well when the antennas are vertical. Next, I tried the antennas horizontally. Not quite as good as vertical, 
For 2.4 gigahertz, no functional difference. For 5 gigahertz, still overall great signal. Also worth noting, for all of these tests, we had the 2.4 gigahertz set to low transmission power, since a roughly 1500 square foot apartment shouldn't need much more. Plus, if everyone else here at this apartment complex had the power maxed, no one would have functional Wi-Fi. For the second to last test, I left the antennas at a 45 degree angle and cranked the power to high. 5 GHz was already set to high for every test. The, boost did, the signal did boost pretty well everywhere, but still not enough to substitute for a better orientation. Here is a table of all the data. Looking at entire rows, we can see that a baking sheet can greatly increase the range of a suboptimal orientation, and we see that either horizontal, but mostly vertical, would be the best way to position your router antennas. So for this last test, we used vertical antennas with a baking sheet at full power. And it wasn't as good as we hoped for. The bedroom suffered most notably, being about as bad as not having done any of the improvements at all, although back porch results were among the better ranking. Going forward, I'm going to leave the antennas vertical and drop the transmission power back to low. This is the only test where every result was above minus 45 dBm. I wouldn't blame someone for having horizontal antennas, but if I'm visiting your house and I see that your antennas are not oriented vertically, I'm a mess with it. That might explain, besides the pandemic, why none of my friends are having me over anymore. Leave a comment below. Why don't my friends invite me over? Wrong answers only. You can improve your Wi-Fi connection by subscribing. It might not boost the signal strength of your wireless internet, but it will increase the amount of Wi-Fi's love that you receive. Find yourself a nice sunny spot and check out the hundreds of other 3D PC videos. I'm going to go take a cat nap, but I'll see you in the next video.